Alright guys, Papa Pepper here with another video. This one's how to accurately identify a water moccasin. Um, you can see I'm already bleeding from this snake here, which has bit me quite a few times. Most of the snake people often find down by the water, but it's not a water moccasin. I'm going to try to show you a couple different things about it. One, check out its eye. You're going to see that it has a nice round pupil. Now having a round pupil does not mean that it's not venomous, it just means it's not a pit viper. Also, you'll only see a nostril. There is no heat vents in front of it, uh, no heat pits, which is where pit vipers get their name from. If you see the belly, you're going to see it's got beautiful red color, which can be, uh, can be what you find on a northern water snake. Um, plain-bellied water snakes often just have plain bellies, but they got the little half moons, stuff like that. And then after the vent, you can see it, they go from single uh, scales on the belly to double. There's two on each side of that, and then they meet in the middle. So this is a non-venomous northern water snake. They have round pupils, they have no heat pits, they have single uh, scales on the belly before the vent, and then after the vent, they have split ones, where they have two on each of them. These guys are often found down by water, and a lot of snakes are, but the problem is when people see snakes down by the water, they say, oh, a water moccasin. Yet, you know, if they see footwear, you know, next to maybe a Native American lodge, do they say, oh, look, a moccasin, when it's a sneaker, or when it's a boot, or when it's a sandal? No. So it's unfortunate that people, uh, just immediately see a snake by water and they think water moccasin. So this one is non-venomous, like I said, it's already bit me and I'm bleeding. And uh, you can see it's got a nice side pa pattern and a nice belly there too. So I'm going to put this one down. And then I'm going to show you guys a water moccasin and we'll look at the differences. This is a water moccasin. First thing you'll see is it has fangs. When I grab it, it's got some big fangs there, doesn't it? Another thing you'll notice, uh, there's two holes in the front of its face. There's the first one closest to you, which is a nostril. And then right behind that, there's a heat pit between the nostril and the eye. That's what they use for uh, sensing heat. And if you look close enough, you can see it has a nice cat-like eye. The pupils are narrow. That is a water moccasin. Water moccasins are a type of pit viper, so you're going to see those same pits and fangs and cat-like eyes on, um, on a variety of the pit vipers, like rattlesnakes and copperheads as well. Also, you'll see it's got nice single scales before the vent, and then after the vent too, the tail, they continue to be single scales, not double, like you find on snakes that are not uh, pit vipers. Now you can see this one's got itself flattened out right now. Real nice and flat, making itself look very wide up until the tail and then it kind of thins. A uh, northern water snake can do that. They can flatten themselves. They can change the shape of their heads to look more like a pit viper. It's just a, a form of mimicry that they were created with to uh, help protect them. Now you can see there is a slight pattern on the side um, this one's almost completely brown, so you can't really tell. But the belly obviously varies quite a bit too. You've got alternating blotches all the way down. There's not a whole bunch of tiny little half moons. So this is a water moccasin. This one, I'm not going to let bite me. I'm not going to be bleeding from a bite from it because that would be unwise. It's a venomous snake. Now, are these snakes poisonous? No. You can eat them. You can uh, cut their heads off, peel their skin off, take their guts out, cook the meat roast it on a fire, deep fry it, do whatever you want, and you can eat them. They're not poisonous, but they are venomous. And what that means is they have venom glands back here that come through those fangs when they bite something. I mean, you can see those. Those are some big, nasty teeth. And this one is uh, pretty much ready to, uh, ready to go. Now, in the wild, if you see a northern water snake, commonly they're just going to scoot off into the water and swim away as quick as they can. If you see one of these in the wild, it's mostly often going to be just curled up, sitting there, and it's going to stay curled up and sitting there, but it'll open its mouth 
and display that nice light colored mouth, which is where they get the name cotton mouth, because they'll sit there on the ground with their mouth open like that. So just a little bit more. Um, they all have a role to play in the ecosystem. Some places like Arkansas, it's illegal to kill a snake unless it's posing an immediate uh, life-threatening threat to a person or animal, which often is not the case. And uh, yeah, if you can accurately identify them, you can leave them alone. A lot of people just kill every snake they see and there's really no need for that. They are created for a reason and they still serve a purpose and uh, I'm happy when I'm able to find them around. So that's the uh, water moccasin for you guys, aka Cottonmouth. Alright, hopefully you learned something. Pop out.